Hello, and thank you for joining my session today. My name is Mikhail Volkov, and today I'm going to talk about Redis plugins for Grafana and how they can elevate your Redis experience. I started developing Redis plugins for Grafana and exploring real-time observability while managing customer success at Redis Labs. Based on the positive feedback from Redis Enterprise customers and Redis community, we continue developing Redis plugins and introducing new commands and custom panels. Today, I'm going to talk about Grafana, Redis data source and application plugins. I will do the demonstrations using Docker, introduce one more plugin, and I'm going to talk about next steps and takeaways. Can you observe and interact with Redis data on the same screen using a tool which is secured and already adopted by Redis community and Redis Labs customers? And this is the questions I'm going to answer today in my presentation. Let's talk about Grafana. Grafana is the world's most popular observability tool. In May 2020, Grafana Labs released version 7, introducing new backend plugin platform. We started working on Redis data source and in July 2020 released version 1, which was registered in Grafana repository. We continue working on Redis data source, adding new panels and commands, and released a Redis application plugin at ObservabilityCon in October 2020. In February 2020, we released the latest version of Redis data source and application plugin. What is the Redis data source? Redis data source for Grafana, it's a plugin that allows users to connect to Redis database and build dashboards to monitor your Redis and application data. One of the predefined dashboards provides information about Redis database. You can see operation per second, network, memory information, clients connections, slow log information, common statistics, and if your Redis database support cluster, you can see the cluster health and a node. This data source is easy to configure to use. It can connect to any Redis database in standalone, cluster, Sentinel, and using Unix sockets for IoT devices. It supports ACL, SSL, TLS, and Redis modules. When we release this Redis data source, I want to know how many times it was downloaded from Grafana repository. Unfortunately, this information is not supported out of the box, so we collected this data using Redis time series. Let's see how we did it. You can access information in Grafana repository in JSON format. This is static information, and you can collect this data every hour and store the, that in the Redis time series using TS add command. Then you can visualize it in Grafana using Redis time data source, querying the data using TS range command. It was a great example. Let's take a look at another one. How you can visualize real-time data pipelines using Redis and Grafana. For that, I'm going to talk about pop-up store demo, which uses Redis streams. And streams can be easily visualized using Redis time series and gears. On this dashboard, you can see information about products, customers, orders. And if your orders are not complete on time, you can take the actions. How do you manage multiple data sources connecting to multiple databases? For that, we introduce Redis application plugins, which help you to manage them and provide custom panels, Redis CLI, command latency, keys consuming a lot of memory, and Redis Gears script editor. The main screen of Redis application shows information about configured with Redis data sources with information about the modules, and you can jump to CLI dashboard or Redis Gears dashboard. What is Redis CLI? Redis CLI is a panel which provides Redis command line interface and it allows you to interact with the database. It has the information about all the commands up to Redis 6.2. And if you like me, you, you may interact with a multiple database at the same time. Let's take a look at this video. You have your Redis database with Redis time series, Redis gears, and some processes which process the data. You may interact with this database using Redis CLI, Use third-party application, which can show you visualize this data using charts, pie charts, graph, if you use Redis graph. What if you can do all of that in Grafana? On the same dashboard, you can see and visualize information in pie charts, charts, use Redis CLI. You can create a heat maps and connect them to multiple Redis databases using Redis data source.
Let's take a look at another panel. Command latency and keys consuming a lot of memory. Redis is serve a lot, a large number of queries per second, and latency is very important. How you can see the latency on your database? For that, you can use third-party applications, Redis Enterprise with Prometheus integration, or you can run info command. And running info command periodically, you can see information about all the commands and, the, and show, see the latency on them. And this is what panel does. It can show information latency per command in graph and a chart format. And also, if your latency correlated to one of the biggest keys, you can find the keys which consume a lot of memory in your database by scanning the, the key space. The scanning happens in real time and it can cause latency, so it's advised to use it off peak time. Another panel is a Redis Gears script editor. Redis Gears is a dynamic framework that enables developers to write and execute functions. And at the same time, on Redis dashboard, on Grafana dashboard, you can see the memory usage and see the existing registration in your database. You can modify your script and execute functions in blocking and unblocking mode. Let me demonstrate how Redis data source and application plugins works using Docker. For this demonstration, I'm going to start Grafana in Docker on port 3000 and install a Redis application plugin, which will install Redis data source as well as the requirement. Grafana is started on port 3000 and let's go to the browser. Let's open the browser on localhost port 3000, provide admin, admin as a default username and password. And I, I prefer to use light theme. So I'm going to configuration preferences, choose light, save. And the same in configuration, let's go to the plugins. Type Redis and enable Redis application plugin. As you can see on this main screen, it provides information about data source. Let's add our new Redis data source. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Redis in Docker. So I'm going to provide host Docker internal on port 6379. You can provide ACL information, username, password, TLS, client authentication information, certificate, client key, certification authority, skip verification if required, save and test. And as you can see, data source is working as expected and can connect to the database using pin command. On the left side, you have a Redis application. Let's go to home. As you can see, this data source connected to the database, retrieve all the available commands and understand that it supports these modules. And also you can go to CLI dashboard or Redis Gears dashboard directly per, for each database. Let's go to through the Redis application and let's click on the Redis overview first. This overview dashboard provides information about the database, operation per second, network, memory, common statistics, and slow query log as well. If you have a Redis cluster enabled, you can see the cluster health and the nodes. Let's go to Redis CLI. Redis CLI dashboard has all the panels in streaming, in streaming mode, which means that they periodically ask information from the class, from the database, and it can show you operation per second, how it changed over time. As you can see, the database runs 140, 80 operation per second. Number of clients stays the same. Memory network, key statistics, and using the Redis CLI panel, you can run any command in raw and normal mode. Let's type info. For info command, you can see information about it, when it started to be available, if anything was changed in one of the latest releases, and release 6.2 added error stats and common stats. Also, you have a link to redis.io for this command. Let's run, and it immediately gets the feedback from your Redis database. Let's take a look at advanced panels for la latency and keys consuming a lot of memory. As you can see, this Redis database runs multiple commands, and some of the commands, like X read group, is a high, is, uh, takes more time than other one, causing the latency on the database. If you want to know the biggest keys in your database, this is the panel keys consuming a lot of memory. It can cause latency because it's scanning through your key space, and it's recommended to use it on off-peak time because it's happening in real time. You can provide top keys, how many keys you want to retrieve. It will count 100 keys at a time, scanning them, match pattern, and click Start Scanning. 
it started to scan through your key space. If it's a big key space, it will take multi, many, many interaction, interactions. As you can see, key queue complete, which is already streams, takes most of the memory in my database. There is some time series and string data as well. Let's take a look at the Redis Gears. Redis Gears dashboard provides information about Redis Gears, its memory usage, all the existing registration in the database with a number of triggered successes and failures as well. And you can run any script using this Python function panel. You can provide requirements, blocking and blocking mode. I will do GB run for Redis Gears run script, and it will return all the keys in the database, types, values, and this was Redis Keys dashboard. Let's create our own dashboard, and you can choose the Redis data source as well, working with multiple databases. Let's create our own dashboard. Click plus, dashboard, add new panel. You can choose different visualization, standard, graph, time series, table, or there is a four new panels, Redis CLI, Redis Gears, Max Memory Keys, and Redis Latency. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose Table. For Data Source, I'm choosing Redis. In Query Editor, I'm choosing Redis and X Rev Range Command, which returns the stream entries matching a given range ID in reverse order. For Key, I'm going to use Key Complete. It has start and default information. It, you can provide how many count you want to retrieve, click run, and this is the 10 entries from Redis streams with the stream ID, orders, and a customer data in your stream. And this is how you work with the Redis application and Redis data source. It was an impressive demonstration. I want to talk about one more plugin today, Redis Enterprise Software, provides REST API to retrieve information about cluster, databases, nodes, and metrics. Redis Explorer plugin is the latest plugin in Redis Grafana family, which adds support for Redis Enterprise software. On this dashboard, you can see the license information, average latency on the cluster, number of requests, CPU memory information, and all the registered modules. To see information about database and nodes, there are additional dashboards, and you can create your own dashboard for your clusters. What is our next steps? Add alerting to notify users of Redis and application data changes, supporting new features and commands in Redis 7, Redis JSON and Redis AI modules, and also enhancing data sources for Redis enterprise software and cloud. To learn more about the project, you can go to GitHub organization page at GitHub Project documentation is available at Redis Grafana GitHub.io. Redis data source and application plugins are registered in Grafana repository and can be easily installed in Redis, in Grafana, Grafana Enterprise, and Grafana Cloud. I want you to take home from this session that Redis data source and application plugins are registered in Grafana repository. They can use to observe and interact with Redis database and application data and they're open source and driven by community. I want to end this session with a quote from Torkel, co-founder of Grafana Labs. This data source is pretty sweet. Thank you for joining my session. I hope you learn a lot about Redis data source and application plugin. Enjoy RedisCon, and let me know if you have any questions using email or on GitHub project page. Thank you, and bye.